What is up guys? Welcome back to an all new video. We have episode two of Riffs with the Woodsman today. Today we're going to be looking at 94 Hours by As I Lay Dying. This is off of their Frail Words Collapse album, which came out circa 2003, I believe. For this song, you need to be in a drop C tuning. This is my Mayonez Devel Elite Black Limba, and I have her drop down to C, and uh, I'll put that tuning on the screen for you now. We also got a neck camera running right here, so you guys can see what I'm doing with my fretting hand. I will also drop tabs on the screen for some of the more complicated riffs. Before I continue, I just want to say welcome back to any of my regular viewers. And if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you guys can stay up to date with all my current videos and everything that's going on. And also so you guys can vote on what videos I do next for lessons if you guys are new them. So without further ado, we're going to get into the riffage. This song opens up with a really fun noodly riff that is on the third string. I will insert tabs for this part. The first riff goes as follows. <laughs> I'll put tabs on the screen for that now. Basically, you're going to be doing hammer-ons and pull-offs on, um, on the fourth string, and it's basically just jumping back and forth from open. So you are on your fourth string, and you're basically just... So that's going to be bouncing from the three, seven three five in this pattern once you get to that you're just going to do a hammer on and pull off two three back down to an open so the whole riff slow goes as followed so you play that through twice on the second time you're just going to end on the fifth string third fret and go back up. But you just end on the power chord, which is the fifth string, third fret. And that's the whole thing. While that is being played, the rhythm guitar is doing some riffing for it. It starts off like this. So that is a open, and then two, three, two, sixth string. And that's basically how that goes. And then both guitars are going to play the same thing as the lead, only you're going to have a palm muted chug on the low sixth. So you're gonna noodle off of that and this is how it sounds. That's the intro riff. Then it goes into a, uh, a another little lead type of thing and I will have tabs for that on the screen as well. Seven ten seven nine seven ten seven nine, and it's just a hammer on pull off. So you can even do it without picking a string if you want, which is like this. That's what the lead does, and then you're gonna come down to a dissonant chord, third string on the fourth, and then the second string on the sixth. So yeah, and that's. And then you're going to have a harmonic on the actual third fret. So you're going to hit that metal fret. This is how that riff goes all together. So the rhythm guitar 
hits an open and then slaps it with a with a chug and then does that dissonant and then the harmonic so the rhythm guitar goes both guitars come in and you're going to play the next section together which goes like so from that you go into pre-breakdown into the breakdown So that's the breakdown riff, both guitars play that. One guitar switches to a little bit of a noodly thing. I'll put tabs to that on the screen. I'm gonna go from the breakdown into that riff. So that little noodly riff is played by one of the guitars, and that is, to my ears again, it's it's how I play the song. I don't know if it's correct per the artist, but it's the way I do it and sounds pretty decent. So that little noodly thing is basically a hammer on pull off, starting on the fifth string, fifth fret, and then you go up to a from the five to an eight. back down to a five and then up to a seven so this is essentially what you have i'll play it nice and slow for you this is that next riff both guitars played together now and that is basically the same thing just bouncing off that low string so this is it played slow this is that little uh, more melodic section. <laughs> So what you're doing is you're sliding from a 7 to an 8, with a little bit of chugging in the middle. Then you go up to a 10, back to an 8. So it's 7, 8, up to a 10, back down to an 8, and to a 7. So this is that part. Then you slide up. So for that part, you slide up from a 10 to a 12. Then it splits off again, so you have this. Down to a 3, to another 3. So you got 3 power chord on the 5th, and then on the 6th. So that brings us up to the tail end of the song. This goes into the little bit of a guitar solo or lead that's at the end. Um, so we're going to cover the rhythm guitar that goes underneath that and then we'll go into the solo. After that part, you slide down and let an open chord ring out. Then again. Up to an 8, 10, 7, open. let those ring out per the rhythm of the song and then you go into some chugging bits which go like this the end of the the chugging pattern we're gonna sync up with the lead and that sounds like what we have there is the second string a 10 a and then you're going to 
you're gonna come to the third string, you're gonna hit 10, 9. We got. And that is the rhythm section. This is how that little lead at the end of the song goes. We will take that slow for you guys. This is the solo with the tabs. That is 94 Hours by As I Lay Dying, a super fun song to play. One of the things I love about that song and that album, just the sheer riffage that those dudes have, it's definitely an awesome, an awesome listen. I suggest you guys go check out the rest of the record. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.